Welcome in everybody to enhancement video number seven. We're going to unveil a couple tentacles of the program today. So that ought to get interesting. But first I want to mention a couple things I've added on our YouTube channel, mostly for the new people that stumble upon the channel. They want to check us out, see what we're all about under this more. I've put a description of our database, what we have to offer there. Down below, there's some links. First one is the Amazon list. It's just a list of office products that I love and hopefully you'd probably love too. Anything you buy there, we get a commission from that. So it'd really help out the channel, but that's all that is just a list of good office products. The second one is a PayPal link. So you can donate to the channel there if you so choose. We've got our website, our Discord server, and our LinkedIn page. So lots of ways to contact and interact with us if you wish. So let's get right into it here. What we're going to talk about today is I took off this branch conduit assembly. If we toggle this down, I took it off with a conduit clamp with bolt which is also known as this conduit clamp spring steel, which we see over here to the left, which is also known as the good old fashioned mineral lac strap, mini, whatever you want to call it. So I know that's a source of confusion sometimes as well. They use a very generic catalog name here just to describe it. So what we did here, let me double click this to make sure it's right. Cause sometimes that kind of lies to us, which it did. So I actually took this off as a conduit clamp spring steel with T rod from steel. So if we go to the details within here and I drop this down, you'll notice that I've got a hundred feet of conduit. There's our conduit clamp with bolt. I have 12 of those that yielded. And then down below here, we have 36 feet of rod. Now where's that 36 feet come from? That's probably a part of the program, which I'm not going to describe in this video. Um, but there is a place where it's grabbing that amount, but it is three feet. So if you take 12 straps times three, that's 36. So all good there. Let's get to the meat of what we're going to accomplish today. I'm going to double click this and edit this strap. I'm going to change it to a conduit clip rod mount and then from the T rod from steel and then hit OK and see what happens here. So if we toggle down that plus sign, you can see here that we should get the same result with a different strap, but we really did not. We have the conduit clip to rod hanger but you can see we've got 12 of those, but we don't have the threaded rod. We don't see threaded rod till down here, which that's for the box, just three feet, which is that same amount because we have one box to hang the box from, but we do not have it up here. So what derailed us? What could possibly be the problem? When I start investigating stuff like this, I think to myself, one of them worked. So let's go look at the one that worked and a little background here. This one is not specific to my database, I would guess. This would be any anywhere database because this is more of a Trimble thing where they put a drop wire profile in, which we'll see a little later. But this one is pretty much for the masses. So let's open the manager because we're going to look at what we know worked. So we know this conduit clamp spring steel was the one that worked. Now what some of you may not know is if you go up here to the top and you hit global parts, that's where the tentacles start. It's a hidden part of the program that is a little mystical that you don't know maybe why is here. And it's a little scary to edit. One other bug I will mention is when you open this window, it doesn't give you a plus sign next to these FXs. If you could just wiggle, this bar a little bit, you can see there's the plus signs. It's got to be a bug. Uh, hopefully that'll be, be fixed one day, but just don't get tripped up by that. You should have plus signs there. All right. So what are we going to look at here? We want to just make sure what we're looking at looks accurate for what we're doing. 
first off, what are we looking at? Uh, this is a conduit clamp spring steel. It's got the hole in the back of it, which you could do a lot of things with. Attach it to concrete, wood, sheet metal, threaded rod, like what we're talking about. And that's all that's being described here is what attachments could that strap possibly have? So that all makes sense now when you look at the list. You can see pretty much all the ones I rattled off. And we see the T-rod from steel and all that jazz. Perfect. So no problem there. And we know no problem here because it worked. But that's our baseline. So if we close that, then we go over here to the conduit clip rod mount and then hit the global part. I'll wiggle the line so we get the plus sign. So we should see immediately the problem looking at this now that we established our baseline. These are saying T bar from drop wire. And this is what I was saying moments ago. That's a Trimble default attachment there. I personally have never hung a strap from a ceiling wire. I don't know if any of you have, Maybe if you have, throw it in the comments. Let me know. But I have not. But they use it as a default. Now, if we want to change that, which we do because we know the threaded rod one works, that's what we want anyway. All I'm going to do is hit this folder icon, which brings you into that profile catalog, if you will. And I just want to substitute this with its likeness of the rod version. So this is T-bar drop wire from concrete. So I want T-rod from concrete. Then I'll just hit this red barking at me. I will show you what that is in a second. I'm going to swap the other one. So this one's from steel. So I want to do that also to steel. And now we've got the swap. There's two things wrong here technically. The red glow, which is stemming from the FX, and then the other thing that's going to be wrong is this formula because it's dr referencing drop wire, which we'll fix that in a second as well. First thing we're going to fix though, this drop down, we want this to say, it wants to know what the conduit size is. We want this to say A1 in both instances. Now what the heck does A1 mean? That's a little cryptic. It means attribute one because what's it referencing? conduit size. That's how Anywhere gets that flexibility that many of us are after because then this strap and everything that's going to happen is going to be automatic based on what size we pick. This starts getting into the realm of classic just can't touch stuff like this and why it is like dinosaur because you're not going to be able to do stuff like this. Now this is the intimidating part of Anywhere 2, but hopefully that's what this channel is going to help a lot of you um, get more comfortable with it and unearth some of these mysteries and then gain that power back. So just set those to A1. Now we know this is wrong as well. What I would recommend here is hit the ellipsis. And then what you want to do here is you have to match exactly that profile name. Anyone that deals with Excel-ish type formulas you know that the syntax of it has to be perfect. So this formula builder will help us. So what I want to do is delete this drop wire from concrete. And I know that I want T rod. So I'm going to put T and this does have a little hyphen there and then rod from concrete. Now I can hit this check formula. It says it's valid. One thing to point out here, is the syntax of it valid? Yes, but is it necessarily going to give us what we want? No, it's not telling us it's going to give us what we want. It's just telling us that the structure of the formula is correct. And if we did our deal, due diligence, there's no reason why it won't work, but it's not a guarantee of what it's going to yield. So I'm going to hit submit. And then this one, I can say same thing, get rid of wire, put T rod like such, and we should be good. So that should be it. So when you edit formulas like that, you don't want that red bar. Typically the red bar is either a man manufacturer that needs filled out, which in this case doesn't apply. In this case, it was the FX. And then you gotta make sure your formulas are correct. When you're editing like this in the manager, you wanna take a step back, really take your time and do some due diligence or you're gonna wreck some things. But 
as you see here, as long as we do take our time, we do it correctly, there should be no worries. Now, why does this only have two and not that whole list? Because this one pretty much is a one trick pony. That's a conduit clip rod mount, like that bat wing strap with the conduit clip on it. Um, so it is what it is. So we only need these threaded rod attachments. If you wanted to add other scenarios in any of these, um, you certainly could. And you, you just basically do the same process. Just add and write the formula appropriately and you got it. All right, so we can close that. Now we should go back to anywhere here and let's do a full resolve on this and then drop it down. Now we've got that conduit clip to rod hanger, 12 of those, and then now our threaded rod yielded itself yet again from that. Uh, troubleshooting stuff like that, fairly straightforward, fairly easy. Uh, one thing to note before we get on out of here, this one's quick and easy, is then you do have to acknowledge the domino effect here. So if conduit clip rod mount did that, then I would assume snap close rod mount would as well, which now we know how to check it. Hit the global parts, and lo and behold, it also has that drop wire. So now we know how to fix that. You can just look back and reference the other one, but this would be the exact same way to patch the other one. And I do believe those are the only two that are necessarily like this, but at least now you know how to check them and understand what it yields. So hopefully that one helps everybody. Thanks for tuning in as always. Thank you for all the awesome contractors that have bought the database this year. There's a bunch of you, so thank you very much. And I hope you are enjoying it. Till next time, I will keep posting these videos to keep everybody engaged. So again, thanks for tuning in and see you next time.